Okay, getting some people going over here. This is so exciting. Welcome to Vera Shop, everyone. Just gonna let a few more join. Hey, Emily. <laughs> This is so fun, you guys. Oh my gosh. It also it's so high tech. Hi Hannah. Hey Matthew. Oh, this is so exciting. I'm just gonna let a few more join. I'm never late or I'm never on time to a party, so we'll give a few we'll give a few uh, minutes. Your top is so fun. Actually, this is a dress and I'm gonna be talking about it today. It's a cocktail dress that I got on Vera Shop, but I belted it. Oh my gosh. How's everyone's Monday? Can you even believe it's like halfway, we're halfway through the year already. We're like basically in summer. started. Okay, hi. My name is Madison Guest. I am a celebrity fashion stylist. Um, I work with clients like Dominique Fishback, Victoria Justice, Molly Bernard, Antoinette Robertson, Megan Stott. In the past, I worked with Dasha Polanco, Daphne Rubin Vega, um, Maria Taylor. I've worked with Olympians like Chloe Kim, um, Nastia Lukin. When I was an assistant, I worked with the Kardashian family, which was really fun. Um, I worked on E! on a show called Daily 10. I am originally from Oklahoma, and I lived in LA for eight years, and I've been in New York for six years. Um, I am a new mom. I have a one-month-old baby in the other room. <laughs> we have a, a whole group of, of people watching her so that I can do this today. <laughs> I put makeup on for the first time in about a month, so it's feeling really, really good. Um, so yeah, so a lot of my style, um, I would say my personal style is very classic, very practical. I love denim. I love leather. I love a good vintage t-shirt. I love a jacket. I'm a little bit of a tomboy when I dress, or I'm super, super girly. I don't really do in the middle. It's either like a dress like this, or it's, you know, something a little bit more masculine. Um, I, I'm trying to think what else. Since I've been a mom, my style has changed a lot just because it's all about practicality, um, stuff I can wear nursing bras with. It's not that exciting right now, but the life is, is exciting, but style-wise, I would say not so much. So putting this great cocktail dress on was so fun for me because I haven't worn anything that's not leggings or loungewear in, you know, a little over a month. Um, so yeah. So another interesting tidbit about me, I was a COVID bride. I was supposed to get married in December of 2020. Um, because of COVID, we postponed. So I have been in wedding mode for a long, long time, not only as a bride, but as a guest. I don't know about you guys, but I feel like there are so many more weddings this year now that everybody's like catching up from 2020. Like it felt like everybody was behind because they all had to cancel or postpone. And now we have the 2021 weddings that were gonna happen and we have the 2020 weddings that were gonna happen. So dressing for a wedding can be a little bit complicated, especially these days. Um, so having said that, welcome to Ask a Stylist Dressing for a Wedding. Um, a few rules that I want to kind of give you, my rules of dressing for a wedding when you are not a bride or you know a bridesmaid, Obviously, the first rule is do not wear white. You never want to be the person that wears white. Don't wear off-white. Don't wear pale yellow. Don't wear powder blue. Don't wear cream. Don't wear black. Like, don't. If you think it's too white, the answer is it's too white. I'm sorry if that means you can't wear the dress you just bought, but you don't need that. No one likes that. No one likes you. You are going to be the asshole that wore white. And 
what you need to do is if you think maybe you need to photograph it and if it photographs white like don't be like oh no it's pale blue in person no if it looks white in a picture don't wear it because that's all people see at the end they don't say oh no no, it's fine because it was pale blue in person it looks white in photos don't be that person i i truly it's astounding to me so just don't unless the bride is like no i want everyone to wear white or it's a black and white theme or it's something where they tell you that's okay don't do it that is the number one rule i can't stress this enough if there's another um culture where the bride is wearing a different color like maybe she's wearing red don't wear that like just don't wear anything that the bride's wearing i can't i don't even know why i have to say this but i see it all the time and it makes me crazy um somebody asked what about a white background floral um i have seen that also it really depends on how much white there is like if it's floral and there's just the teeniest bit of white in the background and you really have to look, then that's probably fine. But just, you know, have a little empathy. Put yourself in the bride's shoes. Think what you would, like, think about how you would feel if you saw someone in that dress. And if the answer is I would be pissed, then don't wear it. Um, Another rule I have is really try to keep in with the the dress code. Um, You know, if it's black tie, it's black tie. Okay, that doesn't mean you can wear, you know, a dress that you would wear like to a club in Miami. That's not black tie. And 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 we're not talking, you know, I get that maybe you don't have the budget for a huge gown. That's okay. There are plenty of options. There's lots of things you can do that, you know, are going to make it appropriate where you don't have to wear something. So if it's black tie, wear black tie. I personally had someone ask me, because my wedding was going to be black tie, does my husband need to wear a tux or can he just wear khakis? No, he can't wear khakis, okay? If, if you don't have a tux, you can't get a tux. A dark suit is one thing, but khakis is not ever okay. So, you know, if it's casual, that's different, but go along with the dress code. So those are mainly my two rules. My third and final rule is just don't try to upstage the bride. I know you want to look amazing and we all deserve to look amazing, but come on, like this is the one day it's about them. You know, it's, just don't. The bride and groom, they're the people. The groom and groom, the bride and bride, whoever it is, they're the stars of the show. You're not the star of the show. We want you to look amazing. We want you to feel amazing. We want you to like love your pictures and be so happy that you're there, but don't upstage people of the hour okay those are my rules it's pretty simple um all right so if you have any questions throw them out there i'll answer them when i can i want to get started talking about some products because there's some amazing things on bearer shop you guys i'm actually like really really blown away at how amazing of a selection bearer shop has um and right now there's like a mega mega sale going on so you know, there's, it, it's, it's really cool. Like I've seen lots of brands that I put my celebrity clients in that my friends that are influencers are wearing that I personally want to wear. I'm seeing things at various price points. I'm seeing home decor, which is like unbelievable. Um, I'm seeing men's stuff, which is great. Just a huge variety. So, you know, there's amazing stuff. We've got a lot of sales going on right now. It's really, really fun. Okay. So I'm going to get started talking about some stuff. The first product is the Azalea Wang love me harder pumps i have them linked here i think i can touch okay you should be able to see this i don't know how this works but these are the shoes can you like let's talk about this for two seconds this is a show-stopping shoe that's hard to say show-stopping shoe this is a show-stopping shoe all right this is something that you can wear to a wedding and people are going to talk to you about your shoes because they're so amazing you're not going to take away from you know the bride and groom or the bride and bride and the groom and groom i try to be politically correct i love everyone love is love but you're not going to take away from them okay this can go with a black dress it can go with a silver dress it could go with i would say white but you know how i feel about that we just discussed this but in your normal life when you're not at a wedding this could go with white i'm going to wear these with jeans like I'm gonna wear these with a really distressed jean and a, like a button-down blouse. That's what I'm gonna wear them with. 
I am so stoked about these shoes. They're normally $69.90. Okay, so not only are they normally really affordable, but they're on sale for $59.42. How high is the heel? I think that this is a four inch heel. This is a true stiletto. It's a high heel. It's about three to four inches. Okay, so if you're not accustomed to heels, I probably wouldn't do it, but walk around the apartment, walk around the block, get mm -hmm. some practice in, you can do it. Are they comfortable? I personally find them to be very comfortable. They're not pinchy in the toe. Um, the wraparound part has, if you can see here, it's got some nice soft like lining on the inside. So you're not gonna get scratched by the stones. So I find them to actually be very comfortable and I really have sensitive feet despite wearing heels for a million years. Um, a tip I always recommend to my friends, my clients, my mother, my sister, you know, my daughter when she, if she ever decides to wear heels, will be get some shoe pads. Get some shoe pads, stick them in the front. You will thank me later. Sometimes I've even been known to go up a half size in shoes to allow for more padding. Um, that's when I just obviously really want to wear a shoe. So I would definitely look into that. They also come in, uh, I think, a blue. There's some really amazing colors and they remind me a lot of a shoe that I'm seeing a lot on Instagram and red carpets and stuff like that. Um, and they're at an amazing price. Like you can't, you can't beat that. Um, so yeah, so I love these. I'm just like, I'm literally gonna wear them the next time I go out. And like I said, with like a white t-shirt and jeans even. And then the next wedding I have, which is in July, I'm gonna wear with a black dress. I'm very excited about that. Okay, the next thing that I am going to talk about is the dress that I have on. It's the Mestiza Flora Mini Dress. This dress is so cute. It's so comfortable. It's normally $4.75 and it is on sale for $403.75. Okay, now here's something that I want to talk to you guys about. I belted this dress, all right? I wanted to cinch my waist a little bit. Um, I don't know if you can see me, but I belted it. All right, so it gives me a little bit of a waist. You don't have to belt it. It has a really fun A-line silhouette. I just personally like my waist to be shown a little bit. So that's why I threw this belt on. You could also do like a metallic belt. You could do, you know, a rhinestone belt if that's your style. You could do a gold belt, you could do a chain belt. It just adds a little bit, it makes it fit a little bit better and it adds a little bit more something there. It's really, really cute without the belt. It's really flirty, it's very 60s. Um, it has like amazing flare sleeves. How long is the dress? This is a short dress. This is gonna be like a fun cocktail dress. Um, because it's short, it also can work for summer, even though it feels like a little bit of a darker color. It's really um, flirty is the word that I would describe. I would say that it's like mid thigh. So I'm not, it's not so short where I feel like I have to wear bike shorts underneath but it's certainly not, you know, a long dress. So if this is a crowd that maybe is a little bit conservative or you know everyone's gonna wear long dresses, I don't know that this would be the dress. I think this is an amazing dress for cocktail attire, um, Napa, a garden wedding, you know, something that's a little bit more, just a slight, slightly more casual than like a black tie situation, um, but definitely, you know, has some flair like these, see them these are like 3d flowers okay so it it gives it so much more than just a printed dress right like anytime you're going to do a cocktail dress you want it to just feel more than like i said a dress you would wear to a club in miami would you wear jewelry with it i would okay so i'm pretty minimal with my jewelry like i wear the same things every day um unless i'm you know really putting together a look. I just, I am a minimal jewelry person, but if I were styling a client in this, I absolutely would wear jewelry in it. I actually would do like a fun, cute little updo, you know, pull some hair down, make it really fun. Okay, you could do like a cute little something here. And then you have fun to play, you have room to play with a really fun earring here, okay? So I would do like gold, something here you could do pearls you could do silver really works um there's no color in this except for this like wine color so anything really would work gold silver um pearl it depends on what your preference is 
what color shoes and bag would I do? I would do black. Um, I just think it kind of ties it all in together, especially because I'm wearing a black belt. I would do black. You also could do nude. You also could do metallic, um, like a cute silver or a gold would be really cute. I think that this dress for, you know, summer would be great with an open toe heel, um, something kind of strappy. I think that would be awesome. That's what I would do. And bag wise, you know, kind of go off of what you're wearing. So if you, not that I think everything has to be matchy matchy, I don't, but you don't want it to be too clashy. So if you're doing black shoes, you could do a black bag, you could do a black and white bag, um, you know, something kind of like that. If you're doing nude, you could do nude shoes, uh, excuse me, a nude bag, um, you know, a little like crystallized bag would be really cute. Um, if you guys go to my profile after this, I have a collection called Dressing for a Wedding where I have a whole bunch of selects and it includes shoes, bags, other uh, dresses. There, like I said, there are some amazing things on this. Like I'm seeing, you know, Marquesa dresses and I'm seeing black tie and I'm seeing garden party and I'm seeing beach wedding. Like there's so many amazing things. Um, I really you know, want you guys to check all of this stuff out. I really am so like excited about this. Sizing wise for this dress, it's pretty true to size. Like I said, I like more of a cinch waist, so I would probably go down a size, but you also can just belt it or you could have it altered very easily, but it's pretty true to size on that one. Um, okay, so the next thing that I wanna talk about is the Two Birds Black Velvet Slit Dress. And I'm going to present it to you guys now. Okay. So this dress is normally 285, which is already a bargain. Like that's a really, really, really good price for a dress. It is currently on sale for 242.25. So for under $250, you can get this dress. Now here is the kicker. Okay. Not only is this dress really affordable as is, but this brand two birds is all convertible. So all the straps on this can be worn like 50 different ways, truly. You can do one shoulder, you can do halter, you can do crisscross, you can do, you know, wrap it around Grecian style. You can do like twist the straps and do different things. Um, it's, it's insane to me. Like, so you can probably wear this like eight to 10 different ways and it truly looks like a different dress every time. For this price, let's say you wear it 10 times, that's under $25 a wear. You cannot get a dress for that price point that looks like this. Like this looks like an awards dress to me. The black velvet makes it feel really edgy and cool, but it also makes it feel elegant. It can go super conservative. It can go like rocker style. It really can do all these different vibes, um, for lack of for lack of better word. It can do all these different vibes. And it's so affordable. The black velvet, if you're wondering like, would you wear it for summer? I think that you can. Because of the style of this dress, you can get away with it at summer. If it were long sleeve, um, I wouldn't. I wouldn't do that at summer. But because it has the slit, it has all the different ways to do the straps, it can even be strapless, you can definitely get away with it. Um, this is definitely more, you know, of a, of a more formal looking dress, but you can style it in ways that feel less formal to really maximize the wear here. Does the sizing really feel like it is that true? Two to 12. So right now I'm a size four. Um, I would say that it's very accurate. There's a lot of room. Um, I would play around with it. I, I think, I think that it's, I think it has a lot of room to play with here. I would be curious to try it on someone that is like a 12, um, but but it's the sizing is really cool here. You also can do extra length. So if you're a taller person, definitely get the extra length. I'm 5'8", so I was really happy with it as is, but if you're taller than me, I would get the extra length, um, especially if you plan on wearing it with a taller heel. It's a gorgeous, gorgeous dress. And this brand has tons of different colors. So if you're a bride and you're looking for bridesmaids dresses or you're a bridesmaid and you're in charge of picking your own dress, I highly recommend this because I just think there's nothing out there that gives you the, the range 
the, you know, maximizing the cost per wear like a dress like this does. Um, how many ways can you wear it? Does it tell you or you have to decide? So I actually took a step further and I went on the Two Birds website and there are tutorials to wear it like eight ways. Okay, so already there's eight ways that you can wear it and it shows you on there exactly how to do it. Maybe I will do another video another time of, of various uh, Two Birds dresses and how to wear them. Um, but so that's eight right there. Truly though, you, I think you can get more out of it. I think if you really start getting creative and you start getting comfortable with it, I think you could play around and really get more than eight wears. But even if you're getting eight wears, like think about that, that's eight dresses, okay? And because it's black, first of all, we know it's not white, so that goes with my first rule. And you can play with all the accessories, like hello, these shoes would totally go with this dress. You can do an open toe, basic black shoe. Um, I threw in a shoe from Sam Edelman on my, on my collections, on my profile for you guys, and it has a chunkier heel. So if you're doing an outdoor wedding and you don't want to sink into the grass, throw a shoe like that on there. You can do a metallic shoe. You can do, you know, a really dressy sandal if it's something that's really, you know, dressy enough. There's so many different, different ways to do this. And if you are on a budget, or if you're not and you just don't want to spend a lot of money, if you have a bunch of different weddings and you don't want to spend a ton of money on a bunch of different dresses, this is an amazing option. I truly like, I wish I would have thought of this because I feel like I personally don't want to buy 10 dresses a year for weddings. I want to buy like two or three. Okay. So if this was one of my dresses, I immediately feel like I already have eight dresses and then I only have to buy like one more. And it's such an affordable price, but I truly would pay a lot more of this for this dress because you can wear it so many different ways. Um, so that's that. The quality is really great on both of these and the shoes. All three of these pieces, the quality is amazing. I'm really impressed. These were brands that I was not familiar with in person. I had seen them online, but I had never actually seen them in person. So you never really know, but I'm really impressed with the quality and I'm a little bit of a snob. So I you know, highly recommend them, even though they are affordable price points, don't let that make you think that the quality is not great because it, it's really impressive. Um, does anybody have any questions? This has been so fun. The time goes by so quickly. I should have had champagne. It's like dressing for a wedding, pretending you're at a wedding. I'm usually like three glasses deep by this point. Are there different occasions to wear different length dresses? That's an amazing question. Okay, so people ask me this actually all the time, the deciphering of the guest list or the, the dress code, excuse me, the deciphering of the dress code. Um, let's call it like, there's always like weird things, right? So we have the, the obvious like black tie. Okay, so black tie for men means a tuxedo. If it's white tie, that means tails super, super formal, but black tie means a traditional men's tuxedo. If you know the couple or you know the occasion and you feel like you can get away with like a fun color or a fun print in your jacket, then go for it. But that's pretty, um, you need to be sure on that because a lot of times black tie just means a black tuxedo. I always recommend having a little fun with maybe your bow tie or your tie and your pocket square. I like a really classic tux and you can't go wrong. You can wear it forever. Um, for women, black tie typically means a gown or a floor length dress. It doesn't have to be a big poofy gown, but it, a floor length dress is what's usually appropriate. Having said that, in a more modern era where we are now, society, we're a much more casual society. So you do see women and girls in shorter dresses for black tie. My rule there is if you're gonna do short, it needs to be a fancy short dress, okay? It needs to have some 3D applique like this dress. It needs to have some embellishment. It needs to have some poof to it. Like it needs to feel really fancy. You don't want to be the girl that's in just like a dinner dress to a black tie wedding. I just don't think that's appropriate. Um, there's lots of ways to play around with it, but you want to keep it formal. Black tie is formal. Then there's cocktail. Cocktail's more, you know, uh, flexible. You can wear short dresses there. That's always an occasion where a short dress is appropriate. You can wear long. Um, if it's cocktail and you choose to wear long, I would not do anything that feels super fancy. 
So this black velvet dress would totally work for a cocktail attire because it's simple. I wouldn't do anything that feel, you know, has big skirt or a train or anything like that. That's not really appropriate for cocktail. Um, cocktail, uh, excuse me, black tie optional. That can kind of go in between. Choose your own adventure there. And then lower than that, more casual, there's like garden party, there's beach formal, there's things like that. Anytime somebody says formal, that means women go long. That's what I would say. Should you always match with your plus one? That is a great question. I, I think do what you want to do. Okay. So it's not prom, right? It's not senior prom where the girl picks out her dress and she says, okay, Ryan, I need you to wear a lavender vest with your tuxedo because my dress is lavender and then you wear a lavender tie and then my corsage should have lavender. You don't have to do that. Okay. You can, if that makes you happy, I don't think you need to do it. I think it feels very juvenile. It feels kind of prom or quince, you know, it kind of has that, that feeling to it, I don't think you need to match. However, coordinating with your plus one is always preferred because guess what? You're going to want to print these pictures. You're going to want to frame them and put them in your house. And if you guys look like a hot mess, you're not going to want to. So coordinating is always good. My fiance, who's my obvious plus one these days, he's pretty classic. So he typically goes with a, with a dark suit and a white shirt or a black tuxedo and a white shirt. Therefore, I always match him. I always match him no matter what I wear. If I wear black, we look great together. If I were to wear white, which we know I wouldn't because it's a wedding, I would look great with him. I can wear a color. It's perfect. When you're going more casual, that's where the matching kind of comes into play. So I always go with, you want to go. You don't want to match, okay? Um, look at your color wheel. Look at complement colors. If he's in a blue suit, you want to look at pinks, oranges, um, reds, that kind of complements blues. Okay. If he's in a gray suit, you can kind of do whatever you want. And then you can play around with, with the accessories and things like that. But like I said, you want to go, you don't want to match. Would you ever wear a feminine suit to a wedding? 1000% I would wear a suit to a wedding. Absolutely. I think a suit or a women's tuxedo is super, super elegant. It's extremely stylish. It's very sexy if tailored appropriate, it, or excuse me, if tailored correctly, if that's what you